welcome back, Fred in the Shed 2. And finally, I'm going to get round to starting this Mammod Brooklands Steam Roadster, this sort of live steam model here. And as you can see, I'm sort of set up pretty much ready to go. Um, just sort of glancing through the instructions at the tools that you need, very basic kind of hand tools, just a couple of spanners, screwdrivers, tweezers, and a hammer it says, for, I imagine that's for the sort of the uh, holding the wheels on the axle, things like that. But I won't get around to that today, just gonna make a sort of basic start on it. This is gonna take me quite a bit of time, but I thought I'd sort of bring you guys along for the ride. And also um, for me as well, as a sort of a living kind of diary, if you like, that I can look back on, because I do fancy perhaps maybe buying one of these uh, roads as completed back constructed you know back in the day maybe in the sort of one that's from the late 70s early 80s that's in poor condition and it may be taking it apart and restoring it and bring it back to its former glory but I'll see how I get on with this kit <laughs> if I sort of find this a bit too difficult then uh, well maybe that that idea would be kind of like scrubbed but anyway uh, I'm not going to take you through the whole thing I'll just rely on some sort of photographs as I go along I say just for a visual sort of record so we're going to do a little bit today and uh, see how I get on so uh, cheers thanks for tuning in hope you enjoy instructions say uh, push push the o-ring which is this little uh, rubber o-ring I've got in my fingers here push the o-ring into the threaded hole in the bottom rear of the boiler gently push o-ring right into the bottom where it will sit in the clearance groove then push the steam pipe through the o-ring and loosely tighten up the gland nut well I've been trying for about the last 20 minutes to get that into that little uh, sort of threaded uh, hole there in the bottom of the boiler and it just didn't seem to want to open up when I actually sort of got it in there but then I've just looked and if you look oh there we go there's already a, a sort of a rubber o-ring in there so it looks like that's been fitted at the uh, factory and they just haven't bothered to put it in instructions so that just goes in quite simply like that and that now will finger tight. I almost damaged the threads trying to force a second one in. So, yeah, the, you know, the instructions, um, that's already a little bit of a fail. Another thing that I'm struggling with, and this is just me, but bearing in mind I'm going to be 52 years old this year, and uh, Imperial sort of measurements and um, Imperial monetary system went out in 1972 when I was five but everything is uh, six ba at one quarter inch countersunk headed five, uh, you know five ba i'm used to kind of m5 m3 metric four millimeter m3 bolt so it tells you use two six ba's uh, and then i have to go back to the uh, sort of other sheet of paper and then sort of you know counter reference find out what bag that the uh, sort of BA or six BA screws in, and then I have to sort of guess which one's which. If it was kind of if it gave metric as well, it's just used a metric, you know, use the M3 four millimeter, you know, nut and bolt. I can understand, so it's a bit slow because I'm having to sort of work back to the sort of pre 70s, be almost before I was born. <laughs> So it's almost like I'm building this real time when these things are actually on the uh, on the road. I'm getting there, but it's uh, yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit slow. It's certainly uh, going back to my going back well before my roots, if you like, well before I was even at school. Another thing which is my fault entirely. Um, you've got the chassis rails here, and they were really quite 
tricky to fit as I show, just showed you and I've got them around the wrong way. You've got left hand and right hand and basically the two little uh, mounting screws I need for this sort of uh, controller it needs to be needs to be over here. <laughs> I've got it on the wrong side. Um, yeah, it, it would have been nice if they could have just sort of stuck a little sticker, you know, um, left, left and right, or even if they wrote on it in a felt tip pen or something, you know, left and right. Um, yeah, my fault. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a bit of an idiot. I've rebuilt gearboxes before in cars, but I've got to uh, get this on the um, the outside of the left-hand chassis rails. I've got the chassis rails around the right way now. That was just down to me being a bit silly, but. So this needs to go, it says on the uh, on the outside, so there. And then I've got the steam feed pipe to somehow get into the boiler. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it's a bit interesting. So I've tried loosening off the, uh, the chassis rail because this needs to fit. It says on the outside, so that needs to fit uh, on there, like so. And then you've got to get the pipe there into the boiler. So, yeah, I think this might work, hopefully. Don't know how much you can see. There you go. Ah, there you go. I think that's going to work. So I'm going to bring this video to an end. Um, I've got to start part of the body on now. You can sort of see the size of this model. It's certainly, you know, going to be quite a nice size and it's already got quite a nice bit of weight to it. It's really nice to work with sort of things that are metal and brass, you know, very little uh, plastic going to be on this kit. Um, yeah, so far so good. Everything's sort of, you know, lined up okay. That little uh, sort of sort of gland there, that little rubber sort of gland on the uh, sort of steam feed from the board. That was a bit frustrating because obviously that was already uh, in there. So that was, yeah, that helped me up a little bit. But overall, really, really enjoying this build. Um, it's going to be fantastic when this is completed. Um, part two, we're coming up when I get the time. Um, I'm not quite sure. I can't promise when that's going to be. But make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button and the bell notification next to the subscribe there. And then you will get a notification when I put up another video. And that will probably be sort of maybe part two of this. But as for now, as always, big thumbs up for you guys and girls watching. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Fred in the Shed too. And uh, of course, stay safe. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers.